Prophecy is a weighty gift, but it has been commercialized so over the last 20 years or so. We're now used to people dancing because the prophet called out their telephone numbers, their names, and their addresses when all of us should know, already know all three of them. I saw a prophet in a packed church prophesy a boatload of money coming to a young lady that people would least expect it to. And it did come to pass. She got a boatload of money. But it was at the expense of her husband dying in an accident. I saw a prophetess tell a couple in a packed holiness church that she saw bedroom talk. Said that to the whole congregation. Well, prophet, prophetess, that couple isn't married. And you just sullied their witness and turned this prophecy out loud to the entire congregation into a public shaming. Could you not have whispered this in their ears instead of outing them? This ministry gift basically exposed this couple to the entire church. Prophecy is a powerful gift, but prophecy shouldn't always be used for a shock value. Uh, let's use it to build up believers, to exhort believers to greater efforts, to comfort believers whose heads are bowed down. The late Bishop G.E. Patterson kept the sights over one Sunday late, extremely late, at the Whitehaven location when we were uh, had a 11 o'clock service at downtown that was rapidly approaching. Everyone was ready to travel downtown. He asked for everyone to pray for football great Isaac Bruce. I remember this as plain as day because I was thinking, why would we stay over to pray for a millionaire? That evening, Isaac Bruce had a horrible car accident with his car flipping multiple times and he walked away without a scratch. The national news carried the stories of his accident and how he wasn't harmed. The late Bishop G.E. Patterson never allowed others to call him a prophet, but he was one. So are many others. Let's take this gift seriously and not allow it to be commercialized. God bless you.